Roger. Saw a copy. Five minutes. So where we are right now is in Drogsvik, Finland. It's in the southwestern part of Finland, not far from uh, the port of Henko. Um, right now we're working with the Newlands Brigade, which is one of the two coastal brigades of the, uh, of the Finnish Navy, uh, the Finnish Defense Forces. Uh, and we're providing direct support sustainment to the Newlands Brigade. And what that means is as a logistics unit, we're using the different modes of distribution or transportation to provide supplies and support the Newlands Brigade to keep them moving as they're conducting uh, their maneuver operations. So as far as being out here in Drogsvik, Finland, uh, not only are we operating in the cold, but we're also operating in the archipelago, so a littoral environment. So the end state for us, and one of the big things that we've taken away from the Finns is how do we work in a cold weather environment that's also surrounded by water as well as islands. So how do we move via boats? How do we connect uh, surface distribution, so on land, to water? How do we connect our aerial distribution, like aerial delivery and external lifts, so moving equipment underneath helicopters to islands, and then how do we support, how we tie that into supporting an element via boat. That's one of the big takeaways that we've gotten so far working with the Newlands Brigade down here in the archipelago. Uh, on an individual level and on a professional level, it's been great working with the Finns. Uh, naturally, everyone has their, their ways they do things, so there's a little bit of friction here and there, but overall it's been great. Uh, fantastic people to work with, and I'd, I'd love to do it again. This opportunity uh, to exercise and to train in this environment uh, is, is absolutely critical because when we look to not just the future of where, where the threat is or where we see ourselves operating, uh, Marines need to be ready for that and they need to be prepared. Uh, being here now, training, this is, this is the type of preparation that they need. They need hands-on, they need in-person, uh, they need real challenging training. That's what Marines like. Well, the U.S. Marines uh, arrived approximately three months ago and they, they've been uh, living in, in a brigade. They have accommodation built just for them in, in brigade uh, area where our conscripts are, are stationed as well. It all, all has happened very quickly uh, after the Finland and Sweden applied for NATO. It all started, we had the first, uh, it's called amphibious training event. We had a first event in the summer when the USS Kersak was here. And now this is the second training event. We do bilateral cooperation. We uh, get to know each other, get to know each other's uh, habits and, and the way we operate. For us, uh, US Marine Corps is, uh, is a big entity. It's, uh, 
it's a whole different culture and, and, and uh, their capabilities and their way of thinking is, is the biggest uh, lesson for us to learn. And I, I, I've, been, I've been very, very satisfied with the cooperation that we've had. It's been, it's been very good.